you'll start. You need these. Hey there. So, today's the big day. We're going to be working on the inner rockers. So I've got these piece of crap metal from who knows from where and for the inner rockers. Now, am I an expert at this? No way. Don't follow my advice unless you're just dumb. Because, you know, what do I know? But I'm going to cut anything that's rusty out. Okay? And I've got to decide how and where and when to put these in. Should I cut the rest of the floor off, try to get it off of these braces? If they're still attached, that one's pretty good. Well, actually, that one's pretty attached, so somehow I can maybe cut that off and reuse that. Um, how far did it go? Did it always go only to there? And it's just attached to this metal through this hole? I don't know. I know from watching uh, Street Freaks that there are certain places that you need to have that maybe are already gone on this, this side. Probably this was a cup to disconnect it from this body mount. Look, you can go underneath. So, you know, I haven't tried to take that bolt off, but I guarantee it ain't going to be easy. I wanted to also get some new body mounts. But, uh, yeah, definitely put, would not put these bolts back in. And it can't hurt to soak them, right? But the frame is so beautiful, it's hard to believe that a lot of this crap is just tr trashed when some is like the same. I know I want to save the braces as much as possible. You can tell they used to be welded on, but now there's like air conditioning. So that's fine. So you got one here, which looks like pretty connected to this longer one here, which seems to be fine actually. These, uh, you know, that might come off. Huh. I want to replace these. Oh, how much is that? Inch and a half? I'm going to have to go get a tape measure to be sure and then see if I can find something that, you know, something that looks like that, even if I have to drill that bolt out. That looks like about a half an inch, and then the other, maybe it looks like there's two. I want to put some polyurethane ones in there. Maybe I can re-weld that. This is obviously, it looks like somebody's put a jack under it or something at one point. You know, it is 65 years old. This, I think also was a brace. I realize we're upside down, but. So we'll try to save what's left of that. Maybe I can repair that or put something that approximates that back in. There's another body mount that looks actually kind of fine, at least on this side. That's good. And then down there, the top one looks kind of thrashed, but the bottom one looks okay. It looks like I might be able to get that one out too. That'd be cool. But I'm getting ahead of myself. My goal for today, inner rockers. And I may not do them all the way down here. In fact, I don't think I will, unless they're trashed. Probably just from maybe here, here, to up here. It looks like it's clear all the way up there. And that's probably where the fender attaches. So, yay. Something there. What's that? You can find out with me. Oh, well, looky what we have here. This is the. Uh, dimmer switch which looks actually fine. I wonder why it's down here. Looks like somebody just took the bolts out of it and then it fell down. Well, good to know. I hadn't seen that before. Is that the wire for it right there? I think it is. Maybe somebody tried to take it out and it was stuck. Let me put you down. There you go. We just saved. You know, probably 50 bucks, knowing how these are, and it actually seems totally fine. Yippee. I think that's solid. I'll take these out. Oh, look, it fell right back. I put it inside on the floor, and it fell right back through. That's hilarious. Um, I think I'll go get some more uh, of that stuff that 
lubrication. Is this rotted too? Uh oh, this is rotted on this side. I didn't know that. That sucketh. It's the front part of this. I haven't been able to get these off because they were rusted. They're not, the bolts are stuck. So I haven't looked in there. So this is odd here. I don't know how this works. I'm out of rocker for you. Can I? Okay. I need a cameraman like Jolene. Uh -huh. Where's bad Chad's Jolene when I need her? Before I start cutting, I'm gonna make some braces though. I'm gonna figure that out. There's another body mount. There's that WV. I'm gonna give some life saving juice to these. I really would like to change them out. While we're here, let's go check the other side. I'll put some of this wonderful. Not our sponsor. You can't tell what it is, can you? We'll put some of that on there. Who invented this, though? With the bolts instead of the lug nuts. I still, I mean, I've had this car, what, a month and a half, two months, almost two months. I'm taking the tires off. I'm scared to look at the brakes. I know the rear end is an eight and three quarters, but I'm thinking it's an open diff. It's one of the first eight and three quarters they put in cars in 1958. Here we are. And I just put some more mud on the back of that quarter. It wasn't bad enough to replace, but it was just dimpled enough where I needed to put a little more mud. It's fiberglass mud, so it's strong. But once that sanded off and there's epoxy over it, it's like it was never there. Again, do not build your car out of epoxy or mud or whatever, but don't be afraid to, to perfect the surface, because look at that. All right, we're back on the passenger side now. This mount is all gone. That's bad. But I can fab something up, so it'll be fine. This, you know, rocker is just gone. Gone, gone. Hmm. This piece looks okay, though. Pry more in this old floor off of it, but it looks okay. So let's look underneath. It's deteriorated a lot. Let's see if I can some of those. It looks like it's got two, one on top, one on the bottom. I was gonna buy a pack of eight polyurethane ones, but that would not do, would it? So this inner rocker is, of course, garbage. And I guess I am lucky to have any of it. This side was patched and I just didn't think it was good enough, so I cut it out too. Figured while I'm here, but it's still the the rot only goes back to here, and I will clean all that out. So I'll probably only cut it out to about here. And I want to leave the rocker tops until I'm ready, until the inners are done. So it, I don't change any of the, the uh, I don't know if it's the word, geometry or whatever. I don't want the doors to get crooked. Once, once these are done, I'm going to take the doors off and do the inside of the doors. Inside and inside. You know what I mean? The surface and take the wing windows out and there'll be a primer, a pox primer too. And then we'll get to the car. There's the dash all out. Pretty cool. So, let's see, there's another body mount. I've always used WD-40, but I'm thinking the other stuff might be better. Who knows? Oh, I did a little metal thing on this one the other day. It's hard to see. It's amazing. Do not spray soap in eye. Rule number one. So yeah, see there's one on top there. And one on the bottom. That would be your fuel line, I'm guessing. Yep. Which won't be, I won't be using it. But we'll leave it there for now. See, there's that eight and three quarter rear end. It is the weakest one. I'm guessing it's a 741. I couldn't find any numbers on it, but it is one of the first ones. You can tell by the yoke that it's little. And I can just change that whole thing out and put a, a sure grip in, which is what I'll, probably what I'll do, depending on what I get with the Hellcat Rex when I get it. I don't know if I'm technically, 
be proficient enough to put a rear end of a Hellcat underneath this car. I probably could figure it out, but probably going down the road it'd fly off. Who knows? I'll take this, probably take the leafs out anyway, clean them up and paint them. Same thing with the rear end, of course, replace the shocks, all that. And with the Hellcat, I'll probably need some more stiffening up of the frame or who knows. I'll have to figure that out as we go. I get so distracted with all these th So I'm under the car and I get so distracted with all the things I want to do that I get off topic and forget what I'm even doing. There was a big rot hole right here, which I probably shouldn't have just sprayed with WD, but I did. And I cut that whole section out and now it's beautiful. It does have mud on it, but it's paper thin. In fact, there's some of it down there. It's like paper thin. It fell off when I was, I was grinding it and I heated it too much with the weld that was already above there, but it was, it was like millimeters small. Probably not even, I don't know millimeters, but it was definitely not much. Does WD help at all? I don't know, but the metal teams tends to soak it in, right? And it looks pretty. It is WD, water displacement, right? So, I need to figure out what I'm gonna cut. So I think this front piece for sure from Probably from here, the fender back. And it looks pretty rotty right there too, though. Definitely all this for the the door sill is to at least here on this side. So we'll do that, and then it'll be so cool. But first, have you thought about subscribing to Geek and Sun? Kidding. You should. I need to get some bars. I was gonna go buy some of that, um, uh, what's it called? Square tubing to put in here to brace the, like just weld it on the sides here. But I realized I had something, let's go see. You want a tour? Right here that I've never shown on camera. I have this tubing right here. These, I bought these with some signs, some like road clothes signs from a construction company. And I was just gonna actually take them to the metal dump with that engine I did the other day. And I'm glad I didn't, because this is some sturdy crap. And I can cut this and make it use, use it for bracing. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. So, hold on a sec. So, what I'm gonna use for the bracing is these old signposts. If you've seen in my garage, I have these old signs. I think these were for the road close signs. They're over there. I bought these from an old construction company because they were too rusty. So they didn't use them anymore. And they came with these, whatever they are, posts that hold the signs up. And I went to the metal junkyard, what, a week ago with the old engine. And I was going to take these and I forgot. And I'm glad I did because now I can just chop them up and use them as bracing. So when I cut those inner rockers off, we won't have too much movement, so. And it'd probably be okay anyway, since I'm not taking out the, the actual rockers first. I'm doing the inner rockers. But just to be safe, I'll, t I'll put some in the doorways and then maybe one going across if I have enough, just to kind of stabilize it. And I realize it's a, you know, the frame, it's on the frame. That might make it worse though. I'm trying to think, will it move more if it's like the general where it's a unibody? or even the Nova, or will it move more if it's a full frame? Probably, hmm, probably a full frame because you can lift the whole body off and it will definitely move. I don't know. Oh, there goes the neighbor. We don't want to film the neighbor. So I'm gonna set it up. I'll cut these and the next shot will be me welding these inside the doors, hopefully. I already may have shifted anyway because it's 
you know, rotted. There are some braces still on there that are still connected though. And I think my plan will be is to take an air hammer, air chisel from underneath, or maybe even a top. Huh, as I'm saying that, maybe I'll just chisel this whole part off. Well, no, this is not coming off the car. So I wanna get this off of this. So chisel this away from the brace that's existing without trying to destroy it. Then place the new one up inside there. Probably have to cut this part off too. We'll see. And then uh, reattach it best I can. Rebuild the ones that need to be rebuilt like this. To tear more of that floor back to see exactly how. And uh, go from there. Same thing on the other side. All right, let's weld this bar on here. Again, just like usual, this might be very comedic. We got these bars put in both sides to give me some st uh, structure. When I cut those out, I'm going to cut them out with the air hammer. I'm also going to put another one that goes from side to side just so it has more rigidity. That way, when I start cutting all these things off, it won't fall apart. All right, and there, so as I promised, we are removing the rockers. What I did is I used this uh, air chisel to get the brackets loose. That bracket's pretty toasty. That's not a bracket, that's a bracket. There's a bracket. There's a bracket everywhere, a bracket. Brack um, then I'm gonna cut this away from the top rocker, like so. I'm gonna leave this top one in place for now. Put the inner rocker underneath there, just to mock it up, and kind of put it on this side of the bracing, so kind of like this. Still some in the way, but so that way it'll be in place. And definitely, definitely, definitely wear eye protection because this stuff will dump right all over your face. And I've even got this shield looking thing and it's still really messy. So protect your face and your breathing and your everything because this is just a couple of minutes worth of zippity doo da and it just falls all over you. Okay, okay. I'm going to continue with the that. Put this thing on so my face is protected and continue getting the inner rocker off. I'm gonna leave this top one on for now, just so I have some kind of reference, but it will be going to, because it's pretty rotted. Assuming I have a spare one, which I think I do. And one of these lights is good to have, so you can see what you're doing. Okay. Okay, just put it in. Okay, back to this.
So this tool, this this uh, air ratchet is very, what's the word, aggressive. So if you're gonna reuse any of this, you probably shouldn't be using this tool. But I'm not reusing any, I mean, how could I? It's garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. But I think I did go a little far and knock one of those braces a little too hard, which is okay, I can fix that. Um, but the point was, So I put this bracing in place so it would hold it steady, then I could take them off, okay? And I wanted to break all those spot welds so then I could put this, let's get you over here for a second. You can see the new rocker will, will be touching the braces and as soon as I repair that one, etc., I'll, I'll uh, clamp them on, get them all straight once they're repaired, and then tack them in. Simple as that. All right, all right, I'm gonna do the same thing the other side but only after this one's done. In fact, I think I'll do the outer rocker too first. Maybe, I'll have to see. Keep watching. Oh,